In order to perform this skill, you will need to set up the following. An IV bag with fake blood, as shown in the photo. Then you will need to attach an artificial blood vessel to the IV line with an IV line stopper to control blood flow. All of this equipment is readily available in the Clinical Skills Resource Centre. You will also need some suture material and a hemostat. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to tie off or ligate a bleeding blood vessel. This is to demonstrate a bleeding blood vessel. When you are presented with a bleeding blood vessel, you have to apply pressure to it. This can be either with your fingers, or if a hemostat is present, clamp it off like so. Acquire some suture material with a curved needle and pass this through the middle of the blood vessel. The next step is to grasp the non-needle end of the suture thread and wrap it once completely around the blood vessel. Then you will have to perform either a one or two handed tie technique. You should aim to do two or three throws to secure the knot. Once you have secured the knot, release the hemostat to see whether you have controlled the hemorrhage. To finish, cut off excess suture material. This is a ligated blood vessel. To summarise, apply a hemostat to control the bleed, pass a needle through the middle of the blood vessel, then perform a one or two handed tie technique. Cut off excess suture material and dispose of shops equipment accordingly.